Hi. Welcome back, guys. There's a lot of people in here. That makes me awesomely happy. Right now, I see there's 17 people in here. Hopefully today, if you were here yesterday, hopefully, uh, hopefully today we can uh, work out some of this tech issue. I think I have some of it uh, worked out. So I see people are responding to our chat. That's good. I don't know if you guys can see me yet. Somebody told me I have something on my head. Uh, it's not a chicken. It's a turkey. In case you were wondering, it is a, it is a turkey. Uh, and I have it there. You know, why not? We need to laugh. So I'm not going to take myself too seriously. I don't think you should either. So today we are going to just go over some things about the weather. I'm talking about why it rained uh, so much last night. Tie together some of the things we talked about in class. Check in where people are. See if anybody's doing any of the things that I put out there on Schoology. And uh, we'll go. We'll go from there. So I do have a turkey on my head. Uh, you went to Turkey or Subway and they ran out of turkey, huh? That's a bummer. Thanksgiving was last year. I know. I was just looking for a hat that I needed to put on my head, and this happened to be the one I found sitting right next to me. So, all right. So let's talk about some science. Uh, anybody? First of all, anybody doing thinking about doing the tornado-proof structure uh, activity that I put out there yesterday? If you are, let me know. I have a fun one for today too. Uh, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But right now, let's start talking about the weather. Thank you. I like that fact that you like my hat. Now the video is not HD. I tried to roll back the latency a little bit to see if that would help. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully you guys are able to see everything. Uh, so give me a little hint here. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Am I seeming to be choppy or buffering or anything like that today? Like I was yesterday? All right, I'll come back and take a look at that. Yes, yes, we can. All right, good. Awesome. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at the weather map. Today's weather map. This weather map today looks a little crazy. Sorry, I got some turkey legs in my in my beard. This weather map looks a little crazy today. Uh, right here, this low pressure, this is what came through last night while we were sleeping. And I want to go through and just review a little bit about what we talked about with a warm front coming through and how that affects our weather. Because if you look right here today, this is that small little warm front that came through last night. We'll talk about all this stuff back here in just a little bit. But if you remember, what's today, Thursday? Yeah, on Tuesday and on Monday, we had some really, really nice weather. And in fact, yesterday morning was really nice too. There was hardly any clouds in the sky. The sun was shining. That's because of this high pressure right here. Remember, high pressure is where air is sinking down onto the earth. Remember, sinking down onto the earth. Okay, I know some of you remember that. So it's high pressure, but now, last night we had some low pressure come through. That's where air is rising off the earth. And we know we get clouds forming when air rises. So let's just take a quick look at what we saw come through yesterday and last night when you were sleeping. So here is a little diagram. I've kind of showed you this before. So yesterday morning, we were right about here in the diagram. Right about here in the diagram yesterday morning. When we woke up, if you looked outside, which I'm looking out my windows right now, uh, there were cirrus clouds in the sky. It was gorgeous. The sun was, it doesn't mean it was warm, but the sun was shining and there, were, there was no precipitation. But if you remember throughout the day, and I want you to think back, throughout the day, you noticed that the clouds started to move in. But at one point yesterday, it looked like almost like there was a big white sheet in the sky, really high up. You could still kind of see the sun through it, but it looked white. The sky didn't look blue anymore, it looked white. Those were cirrostratus clouds and altostratus clouds. And if you look at my diagram, remember, it's moving this way across the screen, across the earth. We go, uh, we go from west to east with our weather. So yesterday, throughout the day, probably around two or three o'clock, we started to notice some cirrostratus clouds moving in. And then by five or six o'clock, they really started to get lower and lower in the sky. And then right around eight o'clock last night, 8.30 last night, it started to rain. And if you woke up in the middle of the night last night, at one point it was raining really, really hard. In fact, I heard we were supposed to get up to an inch last night. That was these nimbo stratus clouds coming through. All right. And now we're back here now. We're back here. This has all moved through us. And now we're still in this little bit of cold air because it's not really that warm today. But by tomorrow, we're going to get some more warming air. That warm air is going to move in. And we're going to have a nice warm day tomorrow. Now it'll be sunny, but it's going to be warm. All right, let's, in fact, we'll take a look here and see what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. See if our predictions are what they, what we think they should be. 
Let's see. Yeah, again, again, my, my computer, I'm trying to make it work a little faster. Not so good right now, but we're going to deal with it because that's what we do. So let me see if I got it. Well, this is loading up. Let me see if we got anybody checking in. Any questions going on? You like the turkey hat? Should I keep it on? Should I take it off? Okay. Yeah, the chat's a little late, I'm sure. All right, that's okay. It rained last night. Yeah, you're right. Good. Yeah. <laughs> sound asleep. I wish I was sound asleep. Wish I was sound asleep last night at that time, but I wasn't. That's okay. Here's our weather for the next couple days. I think it loaded up. Maybe it didn't. Oh, there we go. Um, next 36 hours. Look at tomorrow's temperature. It's going to be 77, but it's going to be raining again tomorrow. That's because look what we have coming through again. We have more low pressure and more warm fronts coming through. All right, when these warm fronts come through is when we're going to get a lot of this rain. And right behind that is a pretty strong cold front. That's going to produce some rain tomorrow. All right, and in the middle of the country right now, they're actually having some really, really bad thunderstorms uh, because of this low pressure system right here. You can see it pushing all this air up, up, up in a cold front to make those thunderstorms. We're going to get some rain again tomorrow. Hopefully over the weekend the sun comes out. It's going to be a little cooler again over the weekend, but we should be all right. So there's your little tiny weather lesson for the day today we now know why it rained all right keep on the turkey hat all right i'll keep it on it's going to be right here totally fine with me yeah i'm not a big fan of the rain i kind of like to be outside you know why not it's night it's 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 going to be spring in a couple days we should be outside be sitting in the house all day long all right so let me tell you about something that i came up with an idea i actually got it from my nephews uh because they're you know they're taking the both of their parents are teachers too, so they're taking lessons at home too. But uh, they came up with this idea, and I saw that they wanted to have an egg drop competition. And I was like, oh my goodness, that sounds so awesome. And there's 31 people here, that is so cool. So here's what I'm thinking. A little egg drop, drop competition. If you've never heard of this before, or have never done one, I'll tell you a little bit about it. The goal of the egg drop competition is to create and build some sort of container that you put an egg in, and you literally drop it from a height to see if the egg will break. And the goal, obviously, is to have the egg not break. So, let's take a look here. Just something a little quickly. A couple rules, a couple things you want to keep in mind. So here are some of the basic supplies that I'm going to allow you to use. You can use things like cotton balls, yarn, toothpicks. Obviously, you're going to need an egg or two. Probably more than one. Uh, just make sure you have enough eggs at your house. Paper towels, cardboard, uh, anything you have around your house to help you build some sort of contraption or a container for an egg. Okay? We don't want this to happen. We don't want our egg to break. Our egg can have a little crack in it, but we do not want any yolk coming out of our eggs at this time. All right. There's a little video here you can take a look at later from Mythbusters. But here's your task. Your task is to use a $100 budget. Now, obviously, it's not real money. All right. I'm going to show you something with that in just a second. To construct a device that will safely hold an egg that will be dropped from two different heights. The egg can be cracked, but it must not have any yolk coming out of it. And that's no yolk. Get it? All right. So here are the rules. This is, we we're supposed to do this in a classroom, so we can kind of bend the rules a little bit. But we're going to drop our eggs to try to from from the same height. Okay. We want to try to drop our eggs from the same height. So maybe uh, if you have your ceiling, ceilings are roughly about eight feet tall in most places. You can hold it up the ceiling and drop it from there. Okay. Uh, try to make it somewhere around eight feet. We'll see how it goes. Your egg must be easily accessible. Meaning you have to be able to get the egg in and get the egg out to see if it broke without taking off rows and rolls of tape and things like that. All right. Remember, we're using this as the uh, scientific method investigation. All right. So here's your job. We ask a question. How can I design a contraption to keep an egg from breaking when dropped from eight feet? We then imagine. What are we going to think about? What are we going to do? We come up with a plan. All right. Then we actually make it. We create it. We test it. That's the important part. We test our creation. We look to see what went wrong. We improve upon it. And we try again. This is where you need a couple eggs. Okay. If it doesn't work the first time, don't take your mom or dad's last egg that they're going to have for breakfast tomorrow or to make the cookies that they're going to make you later. All right. Or that you're going to make later. Don't take the last egg. All right. So this is the steps. This is the scientific method. These are the things you want to be concentrating on. This is all part of engineering too. All right, it's not just science in science class. It's engineering. This is how people invent things and build things. All right, they use this cyclical cloud right here. You ask a question, you imagine it, you plan it, you create it, 
you do it and you improve it. And then if it doesn't go right, you ask the question again, you reimagine, you plan, it all goes in a circle. All right, so let me tell you what you're gonna do. Here's going to be your cost sheet. This turkey wants to keep flying backwards on my head. Here's your cost sheet. And you know, we're all not going to be in round to be checking your work, but if you can try to be honest with this, if you're gonna do it, just for fun, to see what we can do, how much money we can spend. So, for every toothpick you use, it's gonna cost you two dollars. String, two bucks. Use paper clips, two bucks. Straws, three bucks. Cotton balls, five dollars a piece. Uh, pipe cleaners, rubber bands, paper, cotton, newspaper sheets, balloons, plastic sheets, all right, cardboard. You got whatever you have in your house, you, you can try to use it, okay? But we don't want to use things like glue. We don't want to use uh, uh, hot glue, things like that. That's kind of really cheating. You want to build something that you can easily get your egg in and get the egg out to see if it actually uh, worked or not. All right, so that's your plan. That's what we're working on. Let me show you where to find this stuff. If you go into Schoology, uh, you go into Schoology, maybe, and it looks like it's loading up for me here. I see an S in the corner. Oh, there we go. Huh, I scrolled down too far. So you go to Schoology, get to your science class. Uh, Mrs. O'Neill's kids, if you're watching this, shoot me an email, uh, tshike at hannahsd.org, and I can let you into the Schoology class too to get to it, so that way you can you can see it um, and get to the stuff. So let me put you here. We'll just go to my period one. Why not? Mm -hmm. Looks like it's starting to brighten up out there a little bit. Clouds are starting to move back up again. The humid air will hopefully blow out of here. We don't have much rain tonight. All right, so March 19th, 2020. That's today. I think it's today. Yeah, it is. Here's your resources. Oh, my word. So slow. All right. So right here is the handout. This is where you're gonna find your instructions, okay? And this is where you're gonna find your checklist and your cost sheet and that kind of stuff, right there. You can download it, type it right into your computer, save it. I'll put an assignment in here if you wanna submit stuff. If you're gonna do this, I think it'd be really, really cool if you take pictures along the way, put pictures into your document so we can see what's going on. Take a picture of your planning, uh, take a picture of your, uh, your final project when it's done, take a picture of your egg before, and then a picture of your egg after, okay? Another suggestion, don't do it on carpet. All right, and then put all that stuff in your document. Just insert pictures like you normally would. And you can submit it to me. All right, here's what the document looks like. So the first thing on here is to come up with your drawing. What are you going to do? What's it going to look like? Here's your cost sheet. All right, how much does it cost to build it? To build your egg drop contraption. All right, and then again, some questions at the end if you want to answer to tell me what you learned. All right, and some things you can improve upon. What worked well? What worked didn't well? And when we get to our earthquake build, uh, proof project at the end of the school year this year. This is the same kind of stuff we're gonna to have to do with all these uh, requirements and wrap up questions and things like that. So it's really good practice to get a look at and, and start getting into the design process so you can start practicing building things, okay? So you can download that, that's up there on Schoology. And then one last thing, uh, I put a creative writing prompt up the other day. It's over on the 17th of March folder. But here's the one I came up with for today. Again, nothing's required, just for fun. If you'd like to, you can submit it to me. Your creative writing prompt, here it is. So again, it's optional. Try to use all these words in your prompt. The subject of the prompt is a hike through the woods. And words I'd like to see you use in there if you can. Leprechaun, fireball, snoop, not snoop dog, wart, backpack, practice, stomach ache, collar, like collar on your shirt, and snake. See so if you can get all those into your a hike it through the woods creative writing. All right. So that's my little lesson for today. I'm done with that. Uh, I'm gonna stay here for a couple minutes. If you guys have any questions, I'll be s more than happy to answer your questions for you. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make you uh, be able to see me a little bit better, make it a little bit bigger. That should be good right about there. How's that make you feel? I'm gonna turn off my screen share. Actually, I'm gonna turn off my screen share too so that you don't have to see that. Now you should just be able to see me and a turkey on my head. All right, so let's hear it. Questions? Please don't be over. I have to end sometime. I know.
I have to end sometime, but that's okay. I'll stay here for a couple minutes and answer some questions. For the writing prompt, can we use affixes at the end of Snoop? Sure. 100% you can use affixes, prefixes, any of that. All right? You're just eating Takis, huh? Yeah, I wish I had some Takis. I don't. I don't. When's it due? Here's the thing, guys. There's no due date. It's fun. Okay? We're doing this for enrichment. We're doing this to learn some new stuff if you want to. There's not a due date. Okay? Um, you know, I'll keep them up there. We can take a look at when... Uh, when, when people send them in, I'll, I'll share the pictures. If you don't want to put your name in the picture, like on your thing, you don't have to. Uh, I won't put your names on your pictures, but I will. if you want me to, I can share the pictures of what's been going on uh, and how, how these things are turning out. Okay. Turkey. Uh, when do we go back to school? That's a great question. We, we don't know. Honestly, we don't. I, and if I knew, I would give you some information, but honestly, I have absolutely no idea as to when we are going back to school. So... I wish I did. So we have to do this. No, you do not. You do not have to do any of this. None of it. Okay? You don't have to do any of it. This is all stuff that if you would like to, go for it. If not, it's okay. All right? I just wanted to put some ideas out there and give you guys something to do uh, if you wanted to. You know, sitting at home. What have you been doing for the last week? I haven't done anything. You've been, <laughs> you've been in bed all day. What have I been doing for the last week? Let's see. Um, I've been hanging out with my kids and my wife a lot. Um trying to teach my kids some stuff you know my i'm a teacher my wife's a teacher so we're trying to get our kids uh into um you know keep up with their schoolwork. i've been reading i started a couple of new books been reading a lot uh i've been trying to cook food every day make 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 dinner make lunches uh you know i'm just trying to keep it as normal as possible i've been going outside going for walks taking the dogs for little walks playing basketball outside so yeah i've been doing some stuff Uh, will our tornado or hurricane project be done when we get back? Yeah, uh, we're, we'll work on the tornado and hurricane project when we get back to school. Okay, if you want to work on it at home, you can. You should have saved it to OneDrive, and you can download Google Earth for your computer. So you can do that. Um, playing Roblox, I see. Yeah, Clayton likes turtles. We know that. Um, yeah, some people weren't here yesterday. Yesterday was a little rough. Uh, yesterday was a little tough. We had some technology issues. So it was all right, though. We figured it out. We figured it out. Uh, your week sounds interesting. Wish I could relate. What, yeah, you just said you slept all the time, right? What about the PSSAs? I have no idea about the PSSAs. I really have no clue. There's so many questions that we don't know or have answered. So, you know, it, it, it's it's something, all right. That's for sure. Can somebody just send me a little message here? Where are we in the stream right now? Adam, welcome, Adam. Welcome your first day here. That's awesome. Glad you're here. Yeah, I did. Mine, too. It looks like we're a little bit ahead of where the actual stream is. We're going to sell the PSSAs. I'm not sure. Not exactly sure. Wish I could see this. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just checking my version of the stream here. I want to see where we all are. Still trying to figure this out. Still trying to figure it out. Oh, that's really weird. Okay, so I guess it's kind of I guess it's kind of up, uh, up up to speed. Is it better than yesterday? That's one of the things I'm really concerned about. Is it better than yesterday? When do I think we're going back to school, Alana? Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, that's why I'm going to keep doing this. Keep doing this, you guys. Come hang out here every day at three o'clock, and uh, you know, keep asking questions. Take keep looking at the things that I keep putting out there for you. Okay, if you want to do them, go ahead. If you don't, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Alana about the ski club sweatshirts. I don't know about those either. I'm not sure. And, and Naomi, you too. I'm not quite sure what, what's going on with them. As soon as I find out, I'll get you the information though. Well, I'm glad to see it's better. Is this on the weekends? No. Good question, Taylor. It's only going to be during the days we would normally have school. So Monday through Friday. Okay. Monday through Friday. Um, I'm going to try to uh, come up with different things every day. Some days it might be just a quick thing like today, just talk about something that happened yesterday, like the weather. Some days it might be more in depth. Yesterday we tried to play Kahoot, didn't work so well. Hopefully we can fix that. Uh, what about dodgeball? As far as I know, dodgeball was canceled. It's not going to be uh, tomorrow. We can't we can't do that. Um, so we were not allowed back in the building until we're told we're, we're alive to. What am I gonna do for tomorrow's live stream? That brings me to an excellent point. Thank you, uh, whoever asked that question. We are gonna do something that I'm going to crowdsource from you guys. Send me some things you want to know about. Send me some things you want to learn about. You can put them right here in the chat if you want to. Um, 
uh, so give me some ideas. Give me this is for you guys. So um, you know, I'm not going to go and do anything new curriculum wise. It's like we would have done in class. But if there's other things you want to know about, let me know, please. I'll, I'll be more than happy to put some things together and show you some things on here. That's why I'm here. All right. Yeah. Give me ideas. That's what that's what I'm saying right there. Give me ideas. Um, what are you wearing tomorrow? Um, I don't know. I'll work on that. I'll work on that. Can we play guitar? Man, you guys have awesome ideas. This is cool. Taj, how are you? <laughs> uh, where babies come from, huh? We'll leave that one to Mr. France, all right? We'll leave that one to Mr. France when he starts his live streams. Yeah, Kahoot won't work. We found that out yesterday. I want to learn about why we have gases in our body. Oh, that's a good one. All right, I can talk. I can easily talk about that. Yes, that's something I can do tomorrow. Google Chrome.exe. I had some issues with Google Chrome this morning, too. I had to uninstall it from my laptop and reinstall it. Hey, Batman. Yeah. Who's styled 80s retro? Who is that? Yeah, you know what? Um, I did hear about that earthquake in Utah tour. And I, in fact, I have a couple of friends who live out there. Uh, they said it was, you know, there was a lot of shaking. But luckily, nobody around them um, got, got hurt. But uh, yeah, they said it was kind of scary, but everybody's good. Um, so yeah, kind of kind of a crazy. 5.6 is what I think I heard. Can we do something related to hockey? Uh, yeah, I can come up with some stuff related to hockey. Sure, there's a lot of science behind hockey too. There's a lot of cool stuff. And I can give you some resources about that too. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to uh, stop the stream for today. I know we don't want to quite end it yet, um, but I have I got a couple things that I got to take care of here on, on my on my end. Uh, I'm glad it worked so much better today. That makes me happy. Uh, so, who likes Batman? I do. Um, so we'll come back tomorrow. I'll be here at three o'clock, unless you know, unless there's you know, some circumstances that that I can't make happen. But I'll uh, I'll come back here at three. If I'm ever not going to be here at three, I will post a video shortly before that that just says no live stream today. All right. So. I'm so glad you guys are here. 33 people. That's so good. That's so good. That makes me so happy. So keep it up. Keep coming back. Keep If you if you have an idea and I'm not able to do it on the live stream here because you can't see me because I'm not streaming, just send me send me uh, an email. Send me an email to my to my Hannah SD account and we can uh, we can go from there. All right. Have a great night, guys and girls. I cannot wait to come back here tomorrow. This is you guys don't know how much fun this is for me. It gives me something to do every day. Some some normal in front of in front of kids. That's what I like to be doing. So all right. See you guys tomorrow. Take it easy.